Today's Namaste Yoga is a beginner's yoga class on breath. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and welcome to episode 253 of Namaste Yoga. This morning we had torrential downpours, and we're supposed to have high winds, but the weather seems to be cooperating right this very second. <laughs> and now if the leaf blowers will cooperate through this whole class, <laughs> our fingers crossed, and we hope that Ganesh will remove all our obstacles for filming today, because... We actually had to pack up for some filming for the members last week, which was really disheartening. And uh, we're hoping to get back to it tomorrow because it's been raining all week. And, you know, <laughs> this is these are the challenges <laughs> of uh, filming. Anyway, we're here now and we're going to film this beginner's class on breath. Thank you to Dusky Leaf for our props today. Um, you are going to need a yoga block if you have one. If not, you can get something from your house that is like this and use that. And uh, you'll need a meditation cushion or a folded blanket or a pillow or a chair to sit on for our seated practices today. And also thank you to Squeeze Yoga Clothing for my clothes. I'm wearing a long sleeve bamboo top that has our Lokha Samastas Hukino Bhavantu mantra on the sleeve. And we'll be chanting that at the end to offer the benefits of our practices to all beings. And also if you watch all the way to the end, we have a really cute outtake of, of deers to show you as well. I'm also wearing long back black yoga pants and the skelly, hand bit and skelly hand headband, which is great. It just keeps my hair off my head. And um, yeah, fantastic. I also have a testimonial from Judith from YouTube. And she says, hello, Dr. West. Since I started doing the classes, my body, mind, and spirit have been up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my mouth this morning, but it's not cooperating with me. <laughs> Okay, since I have started doing the classes, my m body, mind, and spirit have been uplifted. My family and friends want the recipe for the energy and positivity I am, am expressing. To all, I recommend your classes because they are terrific. And that was, she left that comment on Namaste Yoga 201, which was part of the benefits of yoga series um, on the nervous system. So thanks so much for that, Judith. And we appreciate you leaving your comments on YouTube and your five-star ratings on iTunes and uh, leaving your comments on our, our website too. There's spots to leave comments there too. So we love hearing from you and I do take the time to respond as well. So let's get you to uh, start. This class is all about how to breathe when you start a yoga practice. I, I get questions about this, how to breathe. And it's intended for uh, beginners who are just starting their practice because those are people who, you know, as soon as you come to yoga practice, you know, a yoga teacher tells you, uh, breathe, breathe, breathe. And it's like, ah, how do I breathe? <laughs> and uh, this class will go over that. But it's also great for those people who have been practicing for a long time to come back to that beginner's mind and re-explore uh, the, the foundations of breathing again. So I will get you to lie down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, and I'm going to put my jacket on because it's a little chilly here, and join you. So 
So on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, place your hands on your lower belly. Without any effort, without trying to force anything to happen, just feel for and allow your breath to move underneath your hands and your low belly. As you breathe in, feel your abdominal wall expand underneath your hands. And as you breathe out, feel your abdominal wall drop back. Then you're going to move your hands up to the center of your torso to your rib cage. And feel for breath movement into your rib cage. And if your shoulders are really heavy, uh, actually, I mean, if your shoulders are really heavy, they'll rest on the ground and, and loose and not tight. But I know when I first started practicing yoga, my shoulders were really tight. And it was hard for my arms to rest on the ground here. And it was somewhat easier to cross my arms here. And almost give myself a hug to feel for breath movement into my rib cage. And so see what works better for you in your body knowing that the intention is to feel into the movement of your breath laterally into the front sides and backs of your rib cage. And then take your hands and place them on your upper chest and your heart center. And feel for breath movement underneath your hands here. Again, without needing to make your breath bigger or fix or change it in any way, you're just feeling for breath movement that already exists here.
and then release your hands. And so when you're thinking about breathing, you can breathe into all parts of your torso, into your lower belly, into your rib cage, into your upper chest. And we're going to do that as we move now. And you may want to take one of your blocks and what you're going to do is place the block between your knees. I'm actually going to take my socks off just for a bit so I don't slip here. So place the block between your knees. And the reason why we're placing the block between your knees is for good alignment between your hips, knees, and ankles to protect your knees. And what we're going to do is inhale, lift your pelvis a little bit, breathe into your belly. Inhale a little bit more, breathe into your rib cage. Inhale all the way and breathe into your chest, lift up all the way. And then we're gonna lower down and exhale all the way down. And we're gonna combine this with movements with your arms. And so um, I actually have frozen sh shoulder on my left side right now. So uh, this left arm doesn't move all the way. So just watch my right arm, which will move all the way overhead. So you're going to inhale, breathe in a little bit into your belly, lift your arms part way. Inhale into your rib cage, lift a little bit more. Inhale all the way up, breathe all the way into your chest, and then exhale lower down. So inhale belly, inhale ribs, inhale upper chest, and then exhale all the way down. Inhale belly, inhale rib cage, inhale upper chest, and exhale all the way down. Inhale belly, inhale ribs, inhale upper chest, and exhale down. Inhale belly, inhale rib cage, inhale upper chest, and exhale all the way down. Inhale belly, Inhale, rib cage. Inhale, upper chest. Exhale, all the way down. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, belly. Inhale, rib cage. Inhale, upper chest. And exhale, all the way down. Great. And then you can put your block off to the side. And take your legs out long. You're going to actually inhale both arms overhead. I'm just going to modify this for myself by keeping my left arm down, but you can take both arms overhead. If this is too um, much for your shoulders, you can always bend your arms to make it easier on your shoulders, so that's a good modification. And then you're going to side bend over to the left side so that you're opening up the right side of your body. And here, breathe into the right side of your body, or feel the opening of the right side of your body. And then come back to the center. And you can take your right, both arms down. And just check in, take a deep breath in. Let it fall out of your mouth. And see if you feel more breath movement into the right side of your body. And then inhale, take both arms all the way overhead again. And then you're going to side bend over towards the left side until you feel a stretch along the left side of your body. 
and you'll have both arms overhead again. And again, bend your arms as much as you need to to be able to fully rest your shoulders on the ground. And breathe into the left side of your body. Feel the opening along the left side of your body. And then come back to the center and take a deep breath in through your nose and let it fall out of your mouth and just see if you can feel more even breath into your torso here into the front sides and backs of your rib cage. And then from here, bend your knees, roll to your side, and come up onto all fours. Okay, so from here, you're going to come onto all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers really wide with your middle fingers pointing forward. And if this bothers your wrists at all, you can always come up onto fists that your wrists are straight rather than flexed. And from here, you're going to exhale and round up through your back and then inhale and arch through your back. So breathe out and round up through your back and breathe in and arch through your back. Breathe out, round, drop your head and your tailbone. Breathe in and arch, lift your head and tailbone. Breathe out, round. Breathe in and arch. Okay, now the next time you breathe out and round, stay in that rounded position. And breathe in and out through your nose. And feel here. You yourself feel yourself breathing into your back body. And then breathe in and arch. So lift your head and your tail and stay here and feel yourself breathing into the front of your body, into your chest and your belly. And then come back to the center. You're going to inhale, open your right arm out to the side. You're going to lower your, you're going to reach your right hand between your left wrist, your right knee. Lower your right shoulder to the ground. Lower your right side of your head to the ground and come into a twist here. And just notice where you feel your breath in your body here.
And then inhale and come up. Place your right hand on the ground. You're going to inhale, reach your left arm up. You're going to take your left arm between your right wrist and your right knee. Lower your left shoulder to the ground. The left side of your head to the ground. Tuck your chin and come into the rotation on your left side. Breathing here, rotating through your spine. And then inhale and lift and come on out on this side. And you're going to need something to sit on. So either a folded blanket or a meditation cushion or a chair, whatever works best for you today. We're going to do a seated breath practice here so you can feel your breath in all parts of your body here. So come to sit in a comfortable seated position. You can, one of the most comfortable ways to sit cross-legged is to sit with one leg crossed in front of the other. You want to be elevated so your hips are above your knees so that your knees rest on the ground. So as much elevation as, as you need for that to have happen. And then what we're going to be doing is the Sharira Hand Body Mudra Series so that you can feel your breath throughout your torso so that you're breathing all the way into your lungs. Uh, we're going to start with your hands positioned like this in an L shape and you're going to place your thumbs to the backs of your ribs with your elbows out to the side parallel to the ground. So watch this arm because this arm <laughs> is executing it properly. <laughs> this arm is doing the best that it can. <laughs> and then um, what you're going to do here is just feel for breath movement at the base of your ribs. And as we do this Sharira Hand Body Mudra series, I'm going to share with you th the teachings for today, which is just some simple instructions on how we breathe in yoga. So close your eyes, lengthen up through your spine, bring your ears back over your shoulders, your chin parallel to the ground. And close your eyes. And allow yourself to receive the teachings for today. So this week's class is a beginner's class on breath. We have begun our class by bringing awareness to the three-dimensional container for our breath by creating space for our breath in our belly, our side body, and our chest, as well as our back. You're going to take your hands, keep the same position of your hands. You're going to move your thumbs up so your thumbs are reaching into your armpits. And your palms are parallel to the ground. Your elbows are parallel to the ground. Relax your shoulders. 
So this time you're feeling for breath movement into your upper lungs, the side ribs, your upper chest. And the breath movement here is going to be more subtle. So it takes more awareness, a more subtle mindfulness here. Throughout our yoga practice, we mostly breathe in and out through our nose. There are a few reasons for this. Firstly, by breathing through your nose, your air is warmed to the temperature of your body. Also, the air is purified by your nostrils as it comes into your body. Sometimes we will use a breath that I call a falling out breath where we breathe in through our nose and then let it fall out of our mouth. And it goes like this. And this is a breath that I will use to mark a transition or to bring attention to something that is happening in or throughout our yoga practice. Okay, so we're going to change your hand position again. So the third position, you're actually going to change the hand position of your hands. You're going to take your hands and extend your fingers out, just flat palms. And then you're going to take your hands, and I really can only do this with one hand. Well, I could do it with two, but only one elbow is going to go up. So if you can take this on the inside of your t-shirt or whatever you're wearing so that you've got skin on skin so that your fingertips are touching your skin on your upper back. And then your elbows are pointing straight up. So I remember when I first started doing yoga, this was just an unbearable position for my shoulders because probably my triceps were too tight and my whole shoulder girdle was too tight. So what I used to do was take this position in child's pose. So I'll show you, you can do this position from here as well with both arms. And what you're doing is feeling for breath movement in your upper back. And let me tell you, this is very subtle movement. <laughs> what, I, what I can tell you from my experience is that I'll feel almost like a, a reverberation at the end of my exhale. That's what happens in my body. But really, really tuning inwards to feel for breath movement here on your upper back. Tuning into the subtle movement of your breath in your body. And if there's no movement here either, that's okay too, just noticing that as well. So your breath is made up of four parts. Your inhalation, or your breath in, and then the pause after your inhalation. Your exhalation, or your breath out, and then the pause after your exhalation. And then release your fingertips from your upper back. The final hand position for the Sharira Hand Body Mudra series is take your hands and place them together like this in prayer position. Then interlace all your fingers except for the middle fingers and your thumbs. Then you're going to place your middle fingers at the top of your breastbone and your thumbs at 
the base of your breastbone. Now you're feeling for breath movement at your chest and you'll probably be thankful that you're feeling something more happening here. So when we go back to the four parts of your breath, your breath in, the pause, your breath out, the pause, when you think about your breath in, your breath in inspires, it elevates, it invigorates, and it gives life and nourishment to all the cells of your body. Whereas your breath out releases, detoxifies, it grounds, and it helps you to let go. So based on everything that you've experienced about your breath so far in this class, begin to form an intention for what it is you would like to receive from this yoga class today. What is it that you are trying to create, sustain, let go of, or rebirth in your life right now? And how could this yoga class best help you do that? And then once you've formed your intention, you can go ahead and release that last part of the mudra series. And then we're going to do a lunge pose to really open up your low belly and your hips so you can get your breath really low in your torso. Okay, so from all fours, you can fold up your yoga blanket if you're on a hard surface like me. I'm gonna use this cushion actually right underneath my knees. I'm gonna place it underneath my right knee and walk my left leg forward. Lean into a lunge pose on my left side, feeling that just right place where there's something happening at the front of my left hip. And then I'm going to come up and feel that opening into my, I said left hip, but I mean my right hip, right hip. I'm gonna open it up even more so that it comes all the way up into my chest, opening up all of my breathing apparatus here by lifting my right arm. So in this pose, um, the, my intention for you here is to feel your breath right down into your belly and your low pelvis here. And then you can release lunge pose on this side. And we'll go ahead and open up that really low part of your torso for breath on the other side. So you can <coughs> place your left knee on that support and then walk your right leg through and lean forward and find that just right place where you feel some something happening at the front of your left hip. And then sink into your front right foot and come upright and again feel that opening in the front of your left hip and then you can lift your left arm up just like we did on the other side.
Breathing right into your low belly and pelvis on your left side. And then you can go ahead and release this on this side. Stay here, and from here you're going to come up to standing. Okay, from standing you're going to take your feet underneath your hip bones, lift and spread your toes, lengthen your legs, long down out of your pelvis and then you'll feel your spine lengthen up. You're going to inhale, take both arms overhead and then you're going to exhale, side bend over to one side and feel your rib cage opening up so that you're breathing into your side body again. And then inhale, back center, and you're going to exhale, and side bend over to the other side. So you feel your body opening up on the other side. And you'll have both arms overhead. And then come back up to standing. And you're going to stand at the front of your mat. And take a step back with your left foot. Big step back. And turn your left hips towards the long edge of your mat. And then sink down through your front right sit bone. From here, you're going to bring your right elbow to your top of your right leg and open your turn so that your torso is opening your left shoulder is open and your torso is aligned with your right leg and then what you're going to do is circle your left arm all the way around so that it's in line with your left ear so let me show you on the other side so you know what that looks like so it's going to look like this. So you're in side angle pose. And breathe into if you're feeling your breath in this in your side body here. And then release and come up. And then we'll do this on the other side. So this time you'll take a step back with your right foot. And you're going to turn your hips to the long edge of your mat. Sink down through your left sit bone. You're going to lower your left elbow to your left knee. Rotate your right shoulder up so that your 
left side of your torso is parallel to your left leg and then circle your right arm around so that's in line with your ear. And then you can arc yourself up and come back up to the front of your mat. And we're going to do something to really open up the tops of your lungs and get really into your armpit so you can breathe right up to the tops of your lungs. So you're going to inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hinge forward to your hips. And bend your knees as much as you need to to be able to come into a standing forward fold here. Drop the crown of your head. Let the back of your neck be long. And then step back and come into come onto all fours. So what you're going to do here is come down onto your forearms. And I'm just going to have to explain this. We might actually have to get you to do it, Tim, but no? Okay, so, because this isn't working in my body at all. What you're gonna have to do is come down onto your forearms so that your wrists are parallel. Maybe we can put an old picture of me doing it on here. We can find an old picture of me, yeah, okay. Well, that's what we'll do, put an old picture of me doing it. What happen, what's going to happen is your wrists are going to be parallel your, and your forearms are going to be parallel. You're basically going to be doing downward facing dog on your forearms. So your both forearms are going to be on the ground. Your wrists and your elbows are going to be parallel. You're going to tuck your toes under. You're going to inhale here and then you're going to exhale. You're going to lift your hips into the air and then you're going to stay there and do downward facing dog on your forearms. And what you're going to feel is that real opening. It builds strength in your upper body. And you're going to feel that real opening up into your armpits. And breathe right into your upper chest and your armpits. Can't do it down dog either. And when you're in this pose, you're going to really lengthen through the back of your neck and let your head hang. You could also try doing this against a wall if you, because uh, this is a beginner's class. So um, if this isn't accessible on the floor, you can do it with your forearms against the wall and walk away from the wall. That's also a really great way to do it as well. We don't actually have a wall really close by here either. Okay, so once you've held that for a few breaths, you're going to come down. And then we're going to do another one to get right into your armpits. You're going to do puppy pose. So for this pose, you're going to come onto your all fours again. And your legs are going to be perpendicular to the ground. I'm going to show it with one arm. You're going to have both arms forward, reaching far forward. And then you're going to lift your sit bones up and open your chest to the ground. So you're getting a big stretch and opening into your armpits and your upper chest. So it's a little shape, but a pretty big back bend here. Okay, to come out of this pose, bend your arms and come forward. 
And then press up. Okay. It's a big one. And then I find a good counter pose to this is to come into child's pose with your hands down by your feet. And breathe into your back body. And if this doesn't work for your knees, you can always lie on your back and hug your knees into your chest instead. So in this pose, you can really feel your breath in your back body. In the previous pose, we were really breathing into our chest and into our armpits. And now you can feel your breath in your back body. And then you can roll up to seated and come back to whatever you had for your prop for seated, either a folded blanket or your meditation cushion, something to elevate your hips a little bit and lengthen out tall through your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, rotate your spine towards your right. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. And then inhale back to the center. And then you're going to twist to the other side. So take a breath in. Breathe out and rotate your spine towards your left side. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. And then inhale and come back to the center. Okay, so we're going to finish seated before we do our Shavasana, our corpse pose, your final relaxation with a seated breath practice. It's a beginner's alternate nostril breathing. So you actually don't alternate. You just breathe in and out through one nostril and then you breathe in and out through the other nostril. So the way that it works is you close off your right nostril with your right hand and you're going to close your nostril right. So feel at the top of your nose where there's all the cartilage. So that's where you close. You take your thumb and you just go right below that cartilage and you close there very gently. It takes something very gently to close there. Okay. And then you're just going to breathe in and out through your left nostril there. Just place your hand either palm down or palm up on your left leg there. Breathe in and out through your left nostril.
And then lower your right hand down and bring your left hand up and cover your left nostril and breathe in and out through your right nostril. And you'll probably notice it's easier to breathe in and out through one or the other of your nostrils. And this is normal. Throughout the day, your nostrils, one or the other of your nostrils is more dominant. It switches back and forth. So right now my right nostril is dominant and that makes sense to me, that's normal because it's, it's early, fairly early in the morning here still and my right nostril would be more not dominant now because that's my sun channel, that's the channel that's more invigorating, that ha is more energizing. So it makes sense that that side of my body is uh, my that I'm taking in more air on that side of my body right now. And then you can lower your right hand down. I feel like I probably just invited in a whole bunch of questions and comments by <laughs> by making that last com that the comment about the dominant nostrils. So if that feels a little off for you, it's really great to use a neti pot to clear out both your nostrils to rebalance your nostrils too. So you can look on my website um, and search for neti pots and maybe we'll put that in the show notes too for this as well. Okay, so go ahead and rest back on your back for Shavasana. Lie down on your back and I'll show you how to do that as well because it's a beginner's class. So lie down on your back. So start by lying on your back with your knees bent and tuck your shoulder blades underneath you so your shoulders are resting towards the ground more and your chest is broad and then press into your feet and tuck your tailbone under so that you're connecting more of your pelvis to the ground and you can either have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor or if your low back isn't tender you can lengthen your legs out long palms turn up beside you your your feet are probably going to roll out here and you can rest here and I will come up and I have a reading from Thich Nhat Han to read to you to finish our class today. This is an excerpt from Thich Nhat Han's book, Being Peace. From time to time, to remind ourselves to relax, to be peaceful, we may wish to set aside some time for a retreat, a day of mindfulness when we can walk slowly, smile, drink tea with a friend, enjoy being together as if we are the happiest people on earth. This is not a retreat, this is a treat. During walking meditation, during kitchen and garden work, during sitting meditation, all day long, we can practice smiling. At first, you may find it difficult to smile, and we may have to think about why. 
Smiling means that we are ourselves, that we have sovereignty over ourselves, that we are not drowned in forgetfulness. This kind of smile can be seen on the face of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. I would like to offer you one short poem you can recite from time to time while breathing and smiling. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. Breathing in, I calm my body. This line is like drinking a glass of ice water. You feel the cold, the freshness permeate your body. When I breathe in and recite this line, I actually feel my breath calming my body and calming my mind. Breathing out, I smile. You know the effect of a smile. A smile can relax hundreds of muscles in your face and relax your nervous system. A smile makes you a master of yourself. That is why the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are always smiling. When you smile, you realize the wonders of the smile. Dwelling in the present moment. While I sit here, I don't think of somewhere else, of the future or the past. I sit here and I know where I am. This is very important. We tend to be alive in the future, not now. We say, wait until I finish school and get my PhD degree. Then I will be really alive. When we have it and it's not easy to get, we say to ourselves, I have to wait until I have a job until I can be really alive. And then after the job, a car. After the car, a house. We are not capable of being alive in the present moment. We tend to postpone being alive to the future the distant future, we don't know when. Now is not the moment to be alive. We may never be alive at all in our entire life. Therefore, the technique, if we have to speak of a technique, is to be in the present moment, to be aware that we are here and now, and the only moment to be alive is the present moment. I know this is a wonderful moment. This is the only moment that is real, to be here and now, and enjoy this present moment is a most wonderful task. Calm, smile, present moment, wonderful moment. I hope you will try it. So it's a beautiful excerpt from Being Peace by Thich Nhat Hanh. So go ahead and allow your breath to deepen. Bend your knees and roll to your right side. Slowly make your way up to seated. And we'll finish by taking the benefits of our practice, gathering them up first for ourselves, and then offering them out to the benefit of all beings. So we do this with the mantra Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu, which means may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life be of enormous benefit to all beings. Okay, so you're left palm is up and your right palm is down to begin and we do this every week so we we do it and i know you will catch on okay so loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu So thank you so much for joining me for episode 253 of Namaste Yoga. If you like this show, give it a thumbs up, click like, and share it with your friends and your coworkers. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Today's question that you can comment on is how does your body feel 
when it is being breathed versus when you are breathing your body. So did you feel the difference in today's class? Could you start to feel your body being breathed versus you being the one doing the breathing? Hopefully you could feel the difference in today's class. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this class and you want to go deeper, we have lots of value added content for you on our membership site in order to support you in taking your practice further. We have Wave of the Breath that we filmed in Cancun, Mexico. This was like a long time ago, probably eight years ago now. It was a beautiful breath filmed around the metaphor of the breath of being a wave. And then we had the waves of the beautiful water in uh, Mexico coming in for that. It's beautiful. Actually, there was a, we had a beautiful reading from Thich Nhat Hanh at the end of that class as well, too. And then we have three breath practices for insomnia, too. Uh, we have a whole Yoga for Insomnia series. And part of that series, we have breath practices for insomnia. One of them is for helping you to fall asleep. One of them is for when you actually wake up at night and want to be able to get back to sleep. And then there's another one as well. I forget what that one is for, but there's, there's three breath practices for insomnia. We have a series on the five koshas which are the different layers of your body. There's different, five different layers of your body. And one of them is the pranamaya kosha, which is your breath body. And so that might be of interest too. The other thing is we have an introduction to meditation series. And one of the classes in that series is a class on being with your breath. And uh, one other uh, part of our membership site is we have a meditation group and each week Michelle offers a reflection for the week and very often the reflection of the week centers around the breath in some way because the the meditation group our meditation group focuses their point of focus is on their breath so that is a great resource and support for your meditation practice so we'd love for you to join our membership site if you want to join there's a link below here we have lots of value added content for you there, a community of like-minded people from around the world that you can come together with and practice together with, lots of people leaving comments and supporting each other in their practice, and I'm there to support you in your practice too. I respond to everybody's comments there, um, and lots of ways to receive ongoing support to deepen your practice. So I'm sending you much love from beautiful, sunny British Columbia this morning. May you experience the strength of our mountains. May you be as rooted as the trees in our forest. And may your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.